Hello my soccer universe, quick review of the La Liga and League 1 action happening during the week. Yes, I, I decided to make brief videos, but uh, I really hope they will be just brief. I did not see much of any of these leagues. I saw highlights of the both La Liga games, of, uh, of the Real Madrid game, I saw the goals of the Barcelona game and I you know, a little bit of commentary on it. And um, I watched some highlights for League 1 as well, but only for uh, two games, so yeah. Let's uh, go into it. The headlines is maybe have a, a sign of life from Barcelona. Let's see about that. Uh, one half good, one half might not be. And Real Madrid still rolling. And in Ligue 1 we have that Lyon is dropping points. Marseille is losing for the first time in a long time. And that means now PSG and Lille are up top. In La Liga, Real Madrid had uh, the early game, but it was a very late game uh, <laughs> on Tuesday. Uh, that was basically decided by a very early yellow red for uh, Raul Garcia uh, in the 13th minute. Absolutely unnecessary, taking any chance that Bilbao had out of the game. Real Madrid took some time to get going and Toni Kroos just before the half uh, gets the um, uh, goal and then uh, Kappa can even equalize for a bit but with 10 men against the Real Madrid side that looks more and more imposing. It's not much chance that Bozema makes two goals to give Real Madrid the win. Uh, in the other game that was probably a little bit more exciting but I honestly yesterday in the evening there were so many games to watch and I decided yes I'm gonna go for Serie A and the rest I'm gonna watch in highlights which maybe was not the best idea given that I couldn't see highlights of Barca Real Sociedad but I could see the goals and the way the game went was uh, pretty interesting. Um, from what I hear, is what the first half was one of the best halves that Barcelona have played uh, in recent times, which is encouraging. And although they go down to, uh, through William Jose after a corner, which, you know, it took a few uh, um, stations, they very quickly come back with, with Messi making one of his signatures runs, uh, makes the cross, a cross goal, um, uh, Griezmann is there, then the ball comes to Alba, who takes a really nice uh, shot to make it 1-1 in the third, the first. And then uh, they even score uh, the go-ahead, had, had got to Frankie de Jong, initially given as an offset, but again, a very nice move. Um, and de Jong can pull it in. And you think Barca looking good. Second half, <laughs> Real Sociedad came out. And the pro for Real Sociedad is still, they cannot convert their chances. I think Isaac had one or two big chances. Um, Real Sociedad is a really, really good and fun team. From what I hear and see, as I said, I didn't see much yes, 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 but I always have the feeling if they had a real poach up, up front, they would be way more dangerous. So with those two games, we have now Real Madrid uh, level on points with Atletico and Real Sociedad. However, a very uneven number of games and we will adjust just in, in a sec. Um, and same goes Barcelona moving ahead of Sevilla and up into fifth spot. Uh, which looks all a lot more friendly, but however, we need to adjust here because we have so uh, we have many teams, especially up front, with different num number of games played, and we still, if we do that, Atletico Madrid still sizable lead, but now ahead of Real Madrid, Real Sociedad dropping down, um, Barcelona also only in sixth place, uh, Sevilla and Villarreal performing better at the moment. I already gave you the games on the weekend, but here they are again. We have Barcelona-Valencia, I think is the big name matchup. Um, we have to uh, Real Sociedad playing at Levante uh, for a bounce back. Uh, Sevilla Real uh, against Valladolid. I am looking for Real Sociedad, they, uh, no, um, for Atletico Madrid. They play against Elche before the Barcelona game and Real Madrid late against Eibar. So it, the one game that really sticks out is Barcelona against Valencia there. I think it's Celta Vigo Al Alaves could be an interesting one. I said it before. In Ligue 1, a full round all played yesterday and I'm, it's really a shame in, in, in a way that uh, I, it wasn't a little bit more staggered everything. But I, under, I, I understand that I actually uh, lauded them. Lille gets a... Uh, win at Dijon, uh, the, the goals through the Ziki and Timothy Weah. Um, the result that really, really sticks out is that Lyon against Brest, the 2-2. And if you haven't seen it, you should see it because this is really a, a 
crazy, especially Sex the second half. Brez took the lead, um, a shot that goes on the bar on the back of the um, on the back of Lopez goes in in the third and I mean Brez take, takes the lead. But in the second half, twice uh, Lyon hits the bar, they get a penalty that uh, Depay converts. Then um, Lan is set off for uh, Brez. It uh, was actually quite interesting when the red card, it was a VAR red card and you see the tackle, it was a re reckless he even taps the, re the referee, yeah, uh, have accepted it. And when Cornet makes it 2-1 for Lyon, everyone thought this is going Lyon's way. But there was one more twist in there, because an uh, absolutely um, botched back pass has Lopez uh, go past the ball and the right in the defender. There's a huge clash. You can see how they're, go they're clashing and then uh, go going off. And both are kind of uh, lying semi-conscious on the on the floor. It takes a long time until the penalty man is taken. Then Favre steps up, and Lopez saves it. However, he's off the line, and so the penalty needs to be retaken. And I think the foul was somewhere in the 87th, that the penalty scored in in the 92nd. And yeah, it ends 2-2. Lyon cannot find the winner, and that's definitely points dropped for them. PSG, though, uh, gets back to winning ways. Uh, we also have uh, Lance, a th big 3-0 win at Mon Monaco, and I know there was a red card from Monaco in there. Could have had a um, decisive impact. PSG, it's a penalty by Mbappé and a, a goal by Moise Ken. Not much more that I can say there. And then Rennes Marseille. Rennes stops Marseille, uh, but Marseille stopped themselves a little bit. They take the lead through a nice goal by Gay. Uh, had the game under, under control and then Gay uh, gets a second yellow uh, in the 36th. And Rennes has pretty much uh, uh, 60 minutes, a full hour uh, to come back and come back they do first a uh, really nice cross by Doko onto the head of Traoré and then very low, uh, late on Aguirre uh, plays it across to Uno, Uno and um, Ren gets a win and they, uh, they have not won in a long long time but uh, Marseille has, has all not lost in a long long time so definitely in interesting. I also want to point out Saint Etienne beating Bordeaux that kind of came a little bit of a surprise as well to me. Uh, now in the table we have Lille still, still on top but PSG is now ahead of uh, Lyon again and you know with that goal difference for, for PSG it actually shows where things are going. Marseille still has two games in hand which with which they could take the lead but it doesn't look all that great anymore and we again have a few and even especially before uh, because of Marseille so let's adjust the table and you see a little bit of movement there Marseille move up but not they don't have the best record anymore but it's very 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 tight on top Lille still having a better record than PSG and then Marseille and so yeah we have the big Lille PSG matchup um, that could go a long way of confirming Lille as uh, veritable challengers. Marseille against Reims will have it presumably easier. And Lyon against Nice is also a kind, kind of an interesting one to look at. And then we have also Breton Tower between Lorient and Rennes. Well, that was the action from midweek from Spain and France. No Portugal, at least not in the league. We'll come to that. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.